Welcome back to another episode of All Star Athletic Director on the Educational AD Podcast. We'll be right back with today's All Star. But first, we want to give a shout out to our podcast partners, and we've added a new one. Uh, we're still uh, very proud of our partnership with We Coach and the global community of women in high school sports. We also want to um, recognize our newest partner, the Florida Coaches Coalition. Okay, These are three great organizations that you should be a part of. So check out We Coach, the global community of women in high school sports, and the Florida Coaches Coalition. And now, don't fast forward. Take a listen to our sponsorship messages because they are all great products and you will really benefit from getting in touch with these folks. So take a listen to our sponsorship shout outs. We want to say thanks to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Athletic Surveys are a quick, easy, and affordable way for you to collect comprehensive data that allows you to evaluate and improve every aspect of your program. Typically, athletic directors only hear from that 2%. The 2% of the student athletes who are not having a good time or that 2% of the squeaky wheel parents um, who always seem to have a complaint. We need to hear from them, but we also need to hear from the 98% that are having a good time. And athletic surveys by Lifetrack can help you take the pulse of your student athletes and your parents. And that's tremendously valuable information when you're talking to a parent or a student or a coach or even your school board. They need to know what a great job you're doing. Go to athleticsurveys.com or email them at info at athleticsurveys.com to get started. If you've never used a survey, you're really missing out. Talk to the pros at Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack and let them help you take your athletic program from good to great. We also want to say thanks to Final Forms, the industry leader in forms and registration, but they are so much more than that. Final Forms can help your stakeholders, your coaches, and you. Uh, as an athletic director, they're going to help you with things like eligibility and rosters and all the reports that come across your desk. They can help your parents with reminders and your coaches with attendance and communication. Um, it's time that you talk to a team that's walked in your shoes. To take the next steps, go to finalforms.com slash Jake. That's finalforms.com slash Jake to get started with Final Forms. We also want to thank Gipper. Go to gipper.com and see how ADs are creating world-class marketing content for their school's social media channel. It's all about marketing today. You've got to get uh, your brand out in front of your students, your parents, your stakeholders, and Gipper lets you do that. You can do it on any device. You don't need any training. Go to gipper.com, tell them you heard about it on the podcast, and use our code ADPOD10 and get 10% off. That's gipper.com. Create custom content for your school's social media channel. We also want to say thanks to Sideline Interactive Indoor Scoring Tables and Video Boards. They not only generate income for your department, but they also create the ultimate game day experience for your student-athletes. You heard me say that we've got a Sideline Interactive score table in our gym, and it's just fantastic. Uh, we use it for pep rallies, for signing ceremonies. It's tremendously versatile, and the customer service is just outstanding. Go to sidelineinteractive.com. For more information, that's sidelineinteractive.com. Schedule a live web demo and see their products in action. We also want to say thanks to Hometown Ticketing, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. Hometown's recently acquired Ticket Spigot, and together they're going to provide a stronger and more comprehensive digital ticketing and event management solution. But for now, go to hometownticketing.com. They're going to show you how to set up and sell your tickets online for all your events, not just athletics, but things like dances, your school plays and concerts, even graduation. And every step of the way, you're going to have a dedicated client success manager that's providing hands-on support. That's every step of the way. Go to hometownticketing.com for more information. That's hometownticketing.com. We also want to say thanks to our good friends at Snap Mobile. Snap Mobile has an entire suite of platforms designed to help you as an athletic director do your job better. Snap Connect is their multilingual family engagement platform. Snap Manage will show you how to set up 
an entire website for your school. Snap Store allows you to order custom spirit gear for everybody in your program. And of course, Snap Raise is their fundraising platform. We've used it with great success, and you can too. They actually have a program where you can get your money in hand before you actually start your fundraiser. Does anybody else offer that? Go to snapraise.com and check out the entire suite. That's snapraise.com. We also want to say thanks to Huddle. Go to huddle.com. Huddle is how the world sees sports. As an athletic director, I used uh, Huddle for all of our teams, and our coaches just love the smart cameras, the mobile apps. Of course, they love the analytics, but there's so much more. Huddle's got the tools to help your teams, your coaches, and your athletes improve, and they're going to provide a professional-grade analysis for the challenges that you face. Go to huddle.com. We believe in sports, and teams believe in Huddle. Join the 6 million users and turn your school into a Huddle school. We also want to say thanks to Vital Signs Wall of Fame. You know, they're on a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. They've got a variety of interactive touchscreen video consoles, along with a wide variety of templates to help recognize the athletic achievements of your students, both past and present. Go to vitalsignswalloffame.com and check out their catalog and their testimonials. And if you're looking for a really cool way to display your school's record board, for all the teams, for all the sports, or your school's Hall of Fame, go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. That's vitalsignswalloffame.com. This meeting well, is being recorded. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the All-Star Athletic Director. This series features 10 great women athletic directors that are sharing their perspectives on different issues. Our guest today is truly an old friend. Pam Lancaster is a certified master athletic administrator, and she's the longtime AD at Auburndale High School here in Florida. Very active at the state level, also a member of our FIAAA board of directors. She's been a podcast guest before, and we're very fortunate to have her today. Pam Lancaster, welcome to All-Star AD, and what do you have for our listeners? Thank you so much, uh, Jake, for having me back, and um, it's, just, it's a great experience. Uh, today, I'd like to just talk about um, ways that we can recognize and celebrate our student-athletes and, and just share one of the main programs that I've done at a, a school I opened up in Lakeland and then returning back to Auburndale. I brought it back to Auburndale, but I call it my um, Hounds Good Sports Sportsmanship Program. And the whole idea behind that is to promote good sportsmanship, give it a name, explain it. Um, and then basically the bottom line is catching our bloodhounds doing something good. Uh, so many times we see other things in the news or, or see other things going on. And, and I guess when I first started this program, the biggest thing I, I needed to, to do was get the buy-in from my coaches. Because if my coaches did not give me the information or nominate the, the student athletes, then this program would, wouldn't go anywhere. So that was the first thing that I did. I started with a small group of coaches um, just to bounce it off of them. Um, they thought the idea was good. And then I um, did it at one of my preseason meetings and just to get it jump started and explain how it would work. And basically what we do is um, every week while, while an athlete is in season um, every week, every Monday morning, uh, I used to do it the, when I started years ago, I did the, the paper and pencil thing, but um, now I do a Google doc where they can submit one female um, or one male athlete. And what I like about this is it's not a stats oriented recognition. It's definitely based on good sportsmanship. So they're just not sending me a name. There's a, a little place there where they have to give me a description of why are you nominating your student athlete to be um, our Hounds Good Sport Sportsmanship recipient for this week. And I'll tell you what, some of the neat stories um, that just melts my heart, some of, the, some of these kids, you know, the, some of the things that they're doing and the time. And again, some of my coaches are a lot better at nominating than others, and it's always a work in progress. But the neatest thing is when I call them down to my office and I give them the sheet of paper because I let them read what their coach wrote about them and everything and just watch their face 
you know, light up and everything like that. And then I kind of kid around like, that. that's you, you did that? Yes, ma'am, you know, and all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's just a really neat experience. And every year I've kind of tweaked it, but what the premise of it is, is the nomination comes in. If I have more than one, and sometimes I do, I'll ask for help with some of my admin, hey, read these, what do you think? And all that kind of stuff. And if I don't have any female um, nominations for one week, but I have like two solid male, that's the beauty of it being my program. Because my idea is I just want to recognize the, the student athletes, then we'll have two male recipients for that week. And um, so it's pretty neat. And so what they do is they'll get a wristband that says Hounds um, Good Sports Sportsmanship. And they'll also get a certificate that they can um, have and take take home. I take their picture in front of a bulletin board in front of my office. Um, it goes on our social media, you know, our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I put a little blurb for my principal to announce um, in the morning announcements or afternoon announcements, wherever we get to that. Uh, one thing I added a few years ago that I didn't do at the get go, um, I, I always send a letter home to the parents because a lot of times they might not know or the kids don't tell them, but letting them know that they are a recipient for what week and that the coach chose them and, and everything. But a few years ago, well, probably, it's been, probably been five or six years ago now, I've started to include what the coach wrote about them. So the parent can see what actually their, their um, child did in order to receive this, um, I call it a prestigious recognition to be a Hounds Good Sports Sportsmanship. Um, I did this. Um, as my um, CMAA project uh, that I had to have before I got my certified master's um, in athletic administration. And um, it's just a, it, it, it just is a really neat way to, first of all, promote uh, good sportsmanship in your school, because what I've done too is at, at um, faculty meetings, I've also let the teachers know about it and everything and, and then kind of encourage them, hey, if you see one of our student athletes wearing that wristband, engage with the, hey, how'd you get that? Isn't that one of our sports? And let them talk about what they did. And um, it's just a way to try to get a school-wide um, program going and also promoting uh, good sportsmanship. Um, I've given it to full teams before uh, because um, of the way they handled themselves, maybe after a tough loss, when the other team is kind of ridiculing them and everything. I mean, it's just different ways just to, um, and if coaches aren't nominating when I'm at a game and I see something, then I'll nominate them. If my goal is just to recognize our student athletes. So I think that's really important. Um, some of the other things that I try to do also is um, use our social media as much as possible. Um, as I said, we've, at our school, we have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, and it's a school wide thing. And I, I work with a lot of that. Um, I've dabbled in TikTok um, here lately since COVID, but we just try to get like all county um, of recognized kids who make the all county in, the, in our newspaper, uh, postseason accomplishments, um, uh, just, you know, game scores. I do a lot of that uh, game scores on Twitter or if I'm at a game, it, it keeps me engaged in the game where I'll just tweet the game as I'm there. So we've gotten quite a few followers on that. Um, any academic accomplishments, just anything that that we can do to recognize our student athletes um, as much as we can. Uh, senior nights, uh, I, I real compliment my coaches and what made me think of this right now is we're in that time at the end of the winter seasons where we're having our senior nights and stuff. And here lately in the last week and a half, we've had <laughs> most of our senior nights been very busy with that, but it's just neat to watch the different ways that our coaches um, recognize and honor our seniors uh, who have been part of the program. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out, especially to my girls soccer team. This is something they've done for years. And um, not only do they plan the, all the festivities for their senior night, but one thing that my coaches do is they reach out to the opposing team. They get the names of their seniors. And um, before we even start our uh, senior night, they, um, you know, say their names, they walk down the field, they get the flowers. It's just a really neat, as I say, classy way of good sportsmanship mm -hmm. to um, recognize the opposing team's uh, seniors. And it, it just goes a long way. And, and with, with that, and it, in fact, this past year that really stood out is the team that we played um, helped us out by picking up our game because the game, our senior night was gonna be canceled. The other team backed out. So they, they came to pick, you know, help us out. Well, the night before when they were supposed to have their senior night, that team dropped out on them. 
So they had a senior night, but not with the game on their field, but we were able to recognize them one more time, you know, and, and, you know, give them a, get a group picture of them and put it on our social media, recognizing, you know, their seniors. It, I just think it's a little stuff like that and paying attention to detail. And um, these kids are all about, the, the, it makes them feel good. The parents like it. And it, it gives your, it's good PR for your school. And I think those are just, you know, some things that are important. We recognize for team GPAs um, overall yeah, um, by sport, overall by, um, it's a good kind of competitive thing by the, the uh, fall sports, the winter sports, the um, spring sports. And then the last thing I want to mention is um, last spring, in honor of the 50 years uh, celebration of Title IX, um, I hosted kind of got the idea from um, sitting in a um, conference class um, at the um, um, NIAAA, but um, had a, what I call a celebration and education for just our female student athletes. Um, I, I sent them all individual invitations. Um, we had a breakfast for them. I had some speakers come and one speaker in particular it was a mentor of mine. Um, she has a building named after her here at the school, which I thought was kind of cool. We could put a name, uh, you know, a face to the building that these kids use our PE area all the time. And just the story she had to tell how things were before Title IX was implemented back in 72. And then I, then I spoke a little bit about my experience and as a, a student athlete and coach. And then I had a couple younger uh, coaches speak and everything. And it was just really neat because our student athletes, females, are spoiled right now compared to what, you know, a lot, and, and just watching their eyes and, and the questions that they ask, and you could see like, what? You had to share uniforms? What? Because one of my speakers said how the JV team had to take off their uniforms so the varsity could wear them. And just, it was just, it, it's just an interesting, it was really neat because I had at least two kids come out um, the next week and just to tell me, hey, I heard something about Title IX on the on the TV the other day, and I, I felt like I knew what it was because they all left with a Title IX pin that I got from the NI uh, AAA, along with a little little card that stated what Title IX was. That mm -hmm. was their parting gift, and then just the um, I got the community involved, uh, told them what I was doing, and they stepped up. I was able to give over a thousand dollars worth of gift cards out. We had drawings, so it was just a really fun time of just celebrating our female student athletes and also um, um, educating them along the, you know, the same time. Wow. I'm so glad you shared that last story about uh, Title IX because I remember you were telling me about that, uh, you know, when it was happening. Also for our listeners, you know, Pam does a, a really great job. I can't emphasize that enough of building those relationships with her coaches and her student athletes. She mentioned earlier that she dabbled in TikTok. Uh, she does a great job creating these TikTok videos with the student athletes, the coaches herself sometimes. Um, if you want to learn more about how to promote your kids and your programs with TikTok or any part of social media, Pam would be a great resource. And let's go ahead and go there right now. Pam, if one of our listeners wanted to reach out, pick your brain a little bit more about your sportsmanship initiatives or the other programs, what's the best way they can get a hold of you? Uh, they can email me. And that's one way they can email me. It's um, Pamela, P-A-M-E-L-A dot Lancaster, L-A-N-C-A-S-T-E-R at Polk dash F-L dot net. Or um, my, my personal Twitter is at Pam, P-J-L 1204. And then if you do want to follow me on TikTok, I might as well, um, you'll find me at P Lancaster underscore AD underscore AHS. And that'll kind of give you some ideas um, or, or what I've done as far as promoting our kids. And then a lot of just athletic video and just putting it to music. I try to hit the trends if that I can and then make them how they relate to athletics or how they relate to uh, being an AD, just the um, last weekend, I did a TikTok on me putting a ball cart together uh, for our basketball teams. So um, just little stuff, humors there. And and um, and when the kids say, you know, I already have a softball player, can you do a TikTok with the softball team? All right. So I've got that on, you know, I've got to look for something that that'll work. So just fun out of the box. It definitely was out of my comfort zone when I did this, but I just see it's one more way of just, you know, 
showcasing our kids and then as, as um, Jake said, building relationships. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Pam Lancaster, Auburndale High School here in Florida. Thanks so much for being on All-Star AD and all the best Thank with you, the rest of the 2023 season. Thank you so much. For our listeners, uh, we do this every single week and the videos get uploaded to the Educational AD Podcast YouTube channel. We appreciate you listening. Come back next week for another All-Star AD episode and just about every day for new content on the Educational AD Podcast. We'll see you next time. Once again, we want to uh, thank our sponsors. So don't fast forward through this. I'll be quick. Uh, we want to thank Final Forms. Uh, if you're looking for a way to help your coaches, your stakeholders, and yourself, go to finalforms.com slash Jake. Uh, we want to say thanks to Wall of Fame by Vital Signs. If you need a really cool way to display your school's record boards for all your sports or your school's Hall of Fame, go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. We also want to say thanks to Snap Mobile. Go to Snap Raise. Check out their entire suite of different platforms. Snap Raise is the fundraising platform. Bottom line, it works. And you can get your money before you actually start your fundraiser. Go to snapraise.com for more information. We want to thank Huddle. Um, your coaches, your student athletes, and you as an athletic director will perform better, better if your school becomes a Huddle school. Go to huddle.com for more information. We want to thank Hometown Ticketing. Um, simple and easy online ticketing, and they're the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. Don't need to say any more. Go to hometownticketing.com. We also want to say thanks to Gipper. Gipper is going to help you promote your school's teams, your athletes, your coaches, your programs through social media. It's so easy. Even I can do it. Go to gipper.com. Tell them you heard about it on the podcast and you'll get 10% off. We want to thank Sideline Interactive Indoor Scoring Tables and Video Boards. Um, we've got one in our gym and it's one of the best purchases I ever made as an athletic director. Sidelineinteractive.com. And we want to thank Athletic Surveys. Um, at my schools, we use surveys for just about everything, for teachers, for coaches, for parents, and for student athletes. And the information that comes back is almost always positive, but you also get those squeaky wheel uh, concerns that give you a chance to address them uh, and fix them because you did a survey. Otherwise, you wouldn't know about it. Go to athleticsurveys.com for more information. And a quick shout out to our partners, We Coach the global community of women in high school sports and the Florida coaches coalition. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.